Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Choko Bilagu. Welcome to yet another awesome video about TBC. Today I'll be reviewing a particular topic, a new topic on the blog released by the TBC admin. And it's an interesting one because you know a lot of people are going into trouble with their send button due to the limit. They don't know the limits of transaction they are to do. You understand? So they have what is called they are ignorant. Okay, either because they don't have the knowledge or they don't, they don't have access to ask people. Even though they are leaders, they can ask. There are people they can ask. Okay, leaders or promoters or be or you know uh, broadcasters, they can ask questions about limits. Okay, sometimes they don't. So the TBC admin has given you a tool that will make sure that you don't have any excuse. Okay. So, if you want to do any transaction above a thousand dollars, you need to contact the Kringle Commissioner. And guess what? The Kringle Commissioner right now is no longer just in the support section. Okay, the Kringle Church Commissioner can easily be assessed right inside your Kringle Cash account. Okay. So, I'm going to do this video in a two-part series, okay? One is, I'm going to do the video and summarize the blog post for you guys. Then the other one is the practical step, okay? It's the practical step, okay? The practical step, okay? So, let me just do the blog summary for you guys. So, you go to the blog. I'm doing this presentation from the billion coin app make sure you subscribe to my channel okay all right so we are in the blog okay we are currently in the blog so let me just focus on this they say commissioner requests are now live in your kringo cash account all right so this article shows that the Kringle request, the commissioner's request, or the Kringle commissioner request, are now live in your Kringle Cash back office. Okay, and you can find it under your account uh, section. So there are five different reasons you can send Kringles and are detailed in the image to submit and provide either the USD amount or the amount of email address or their wallet address and select reason if you choose other a small text box will be presented where you briefly explain your transaction once complete submit your form and the commissioner will either update your status to ok denied revise or pending if denied you must submit another reasonable request this request will be closed if revised the commissioner will give you details on how to update your request. The edit function will be available to you. If okay, go forward with the transaction but save your receipt or proof of exchange. If pending, your request has not been reviewed. So what I do is trying to say here is that there are all different categories your request can fall under. Okay. Commissioner is asking you a question or wants to know more about what you're paying for. Okay, wants to know more about what you're paying for, so they'll ask you to provide more information. If it's pending, okay, go forward to the trans. Uh, if it's pending, your request has not been reviewed. Okay, so these are different status. I said category earlier, earlier, but what I meant is status. Okay, so you can only submit one request a transaction. The only time you're going to send a second, you're going to send a second, a second request, request is if your first request was denied. Okay, was denied. 
all right so guys that that's it for this video now let me just show you guys this screenshot okay you're going, probably going to see when i do uh, my i do a practical step for you guys so this is uh wallet address email this is automatically populated from your account Okay, now the amount of transaction in Kringles, okay, you have to you can provide both or either. Okay, but I'll do my practical step, I'll show you guys. Then your recipient email address. That means you put the email address, you will be that is related to your account. You put the email address that's related to your account. Okay. And also the one that you can access. Okay. Then you put the recipient wallet address. Okay. Sorry. This is about recipient, not about your email address. Your only email address is already populated. So recipient email address is the email address of the person that you are sending to. But the email address has to be tied to their wallet and their Kringo Cash account. Okay, they also have the recipient's wallet address, then select reason. Now, there are five reasons. One is purchase of goods. So, if it is goods you're purchasing, okay, with TBC, then you can afford to send more than $1,000. Okay, or you have to have kind of a receipt or an invoice or an electronic invoice. If it is services you're paying for, or legitimate services, you can... Uh, select that as a reason for spending more than one thousand dollars. If it's to exchange for cash, then you have to have proof that you actually got paid. Bank statement, uh, wallets, uh, what's it called? Mobile app or screen or alert. You understand? Then if it's digital exchange, it's ready for Bitcoin, PayPal, cryptocurrency, uh, any other exchange. Then, if last, if it's, there is any other exchange not covered at all, you use the order right reason why you want to send above one thousand dollars. Okay, so I apologize if this video is not easy. Um, just uh, try my uh, what do I call it. I'm just trying to pass this message to you guys, but I'll do a better job when I'm doing uh, a practical step, okay, so that you guys can understand how it's done. So, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now.